Hey guys, welcome back to the Sims 3 World Adventures, where I'm here at home with Jasmine and Indiana on Christmas. And I wasn't planning on actually doing holidays and things in this in this game, but you know what? I really feel like sorry grandma, your bed can go. Sorry, I'm not my fault, whatever. Bed's going. Um I really feel like we should at least do one holiday in Christmas, since we've just had a baby, you know, maybe we should have it. I, I don't know, because we don't have many friends, but I feel like it would just be cute just the two of them Christmasing. I don't know. Uh, we could also age Baba up, because I want to age Baba up, because I want to know what Baba looks like, and Baba needs to be aged up. Why must we have this? Okay. Drop the cake for the little boy, um, and I think there's enough room there for a pa pile of presents to spawn. It should. I know we just deleted gra uh, Grandma slash Mom's room, but it's fine. <laughs> it's probably totally fine. But yes, it's Christmas. It's Winterfest. Holiday time. You. Yeah, we definitely like anyone to invite over. I don't know any of these people. Gift giving. Formal? A formal gift giving, sure. Uh, we need to have guests, so hey, there we go. Don't know who you guys are, but sure. Tell me Let's age up the baby. Griffin! You knew you were born last episode, but you're being aged up. Okay, Indiana's doing it. Yes, the power of presents spawned. Hang on. I need to adjust chairs and things so people can come in and sit down at the pile of presents. Nice and comfortably. People are always very finicky with this. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh, that one's all scratched up. I'm sure someone might mind it sitting on it. Uh, sorry, Poochie. <laughs> I'm taking this one with you. Is that all the bed sort seating things we have here? Yeah, cool. Good cool. Okay. Right. Sorry, Poochie. <laughs> You're not floating. He'll figure it out. He'll, <laughs> he'll figure out his floating inside. Like. It's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Is that the birth party or what? Go! Age of Griffin. Griffin Gage, H Griffin, Griffin, old now. Gonna uh, go out those candles yet, or what? Oh, okay, of course, every time I skip, every time I fast forward, I miss the blowing out of the candles. Hey, jump. Hey, the boy's here. Has aged. That is not the adorable outfit I thought you'd wear, Jasmine, honestly. But okay. <laughs> sure. Okay. Gag on Christmas. I'm going to take both Jasmine and little Griffin here into Creator Sim and I'll see you there. Alright, we're back. I've edited their outfits and the guest outfits so they look a bit more formally Christmassy, acceptable y, you know? And Indiana, his formal outfit isn't Christmassy. But the Christmas outfit I wanted him to wear doesn't come up informal, so he has to wear his every day. Uh, Jasmine, on the other hand, her formal outfit does good work with formal wear. So she's just very white snowflake. That's what she is for Christmas. Ain't she beautiful? She's beautiful, even with her empty plate. Indiana here has a t-shirt, uh, just a jumper, casual thing. Say, Hey Santa, I may be bad, but I'm good at it. Yep, okay. And then we have little baby Griffin down here. Hey Griff Griffin. Hey baby Griffin. He's not in his, in his Christmas wear right now. We need to go on twin <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. That. Um, change your outfit into formal wear too. Change him. Change him. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's like, it's like, oh, it's just cute. Oh, okay. I'm having a meltdown. Look at this. That's so cute. He's got a little, he's got a little dungarees on. 
the jumpsuit or whatever. No, it's not quite a jumpsuit. Let's go put him down over here. We can put Christian down so we can see him. Look at him! Look at him! Oh, go with him. He's got a little window on me. It's the cutest. I very rarely get to use any of this Christmas stuff, so I'm happy. Right, let's get everybody to open these gifts. Not that many, but you know, we'll do it anyway. I do not have any toys to play with, I realize. That's pretty depressing. Get in here. Get in here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna grab a present. And won't feel like grabbing a present. You guys. Nope. Okay. Great. Brilliant. Best. Best party ever. Best party ever. Ever in the universe of ever. That was definitely worthwhile. Definitely the best snowflake day I've ever had in The Sims. I got everyone dressed. Hi there, Poochie! <laughs> what are you doing? You trying to look out the window, poop poop? Oh, that kind of looks a bit glitchy. Like you do one of those demonic glitches. Can you see much from down? Oh, you can see the snow falling. That's so funny. Little poop poop. Trying to get a good picture, but everything keeps disappearing at the best angle. Sure, that works. It doesn't, but you know. <laughs> oh dear, dear. Okay, look. Hey, Diana, I think it's probably about time you bought that pregnancy book, to be honest. Um, and then we're going to go travel again, because as great as it is here, it's also very boring. And this is a world adventure, so, so you know. Maybe we world adventuring. <laughs> Yes, we're leaving on Christmas. We can leave Jasmine with the baby, because they're not coming with us. Maybe even Gretchen's older, he can come with, but not right now. Right, let's go get this pregnancy book. Let's just buy the other one for the sake of it, and we can travel. Travel. And then it's healthy, so it's probably going to need to, like, and, and Oh, we need to give this Griffin a gift. I think Griffin can have that. Let's sell this like copper we casually have on us. Um, um, flame fruit can go to you because you're going to be our new, uh, whatever you're called, winery person. The ginseng, we really don't need that. Some nice melon, that's good. You can make watermelon juice, so I'm going to give that to you. Uh, more pomegranates for you, and a uh, lime, and some mystery beans. That doesn't sell for anything. Okay, I think that's about all we're going to be able to sell. <laughs> so, nope, not that one. Uh, travel that way. Take me to Egypt. I hope to go alone. You cannot afford the current planned trip. Okay, alright then, let's go <laughs> and sell some more things somewhere at home. <coughs> <coughs> I wonder if I remember to edit that out, probably not. Um, what's this break? break, break? Oh. What is this fragment? It's that hand one, how is the hand one? Do we have any enough things to reconstruct anything? No? How many do we have? I don't know. We went down. That's sad. Okay, we don't have enough to reconstruct any of that. So let's just sell a bunch of this. And then I think we should be good. <sighs> let's go back in. Four out of five of those fragments. Okay. See, it was a lot easier to 
handle when, <laughs> when it was all out on the floor, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Um, we can give the smaller print the baby book to her, and we can leave this photographer's book behind. And I think we're good. Is there anything we need for traveling in here? Nope. Okay, cool. Take two. Where's it? Travel. Go. I don't know why he was crying, but he's fine. Egypt, five days, go. Okay, and I'll see you guys when we arrive. Okay, we've made it back to El Simhara. We're back at the campsite, and Indiana's got a new exploration gear on. Um, first thing I'm going to do is check for some mummy gems. Because we are not showing up, because, you know, various gems feel like. In all of Egypt, and none has spawned, but then I haven't been in the world for very long, so makes sense of those. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to go tomb exploring. I feel like we should. We should be okay to go tomb exploring, right? I just don't know where. Where do we go? Because I know there's not much yet to do at the temple. Really? I don't think I've ever been up here, but then that's just because there's nothing here. Mm, there is. There's this tunnel. How have we finished? <laughs> um, we can go see if we might have anything to put. Hang on, where is it? Hang on. Hang on. Where is it? Where is it? It's not this way. The other way. It's over here. Yes, over here. Okay, and this too. Um, this one I didn't even know existed for quite a long time. I've played this game so many times. And I didn't even notice it existed. <laughs> um, it's it's a tomb I've, I think I've only done half of, and only ever attempted once. So yeah, it's a bit bit of a mystery to me for once. I think all the other tombs and temples and things I've done before, apart from this one, because this one's hard to even get into. Which I'll show you when Indiana eventually gets there. Right, so we have these two. Mm, a booming voice re reverberates around the valley. He who wis wishes to enter the sanctuary of ours must first make worthy donations. A relic of ancient times and a gift from the stars will satiate the god of the sky. So, what that means is we need to give things on these pedestals, and we apparently don't have any. Any relic aged. Ancient or older, so we don't have any ancient relics on us right now. And then any tiny rock. Basically. Hello, are you also trying to get into here? It's not gonna happen. Thanks. Don't, don't be pushing me. Okay, no, don't go home. I just needed you to leave the area. Um, so yes, we need to look for tiny rocks and ancient relics, which is easier, I think, than it might sound. I don't know. Aren't you sure? <laughs> but yes, we we want to do we want to do the that. The that is the good thing to do. Um, I don't know where we should go. I'm just kind of looking around at the moment to see if I can see any tiny rocks. It doesn't look like it. I want to just going to catch those moths because I think we can sell them for something good. Maybe we can start Queen Hepshapoot. I think that's how you say her name. Queen Hatch Boots Doom. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe. I'm not. Okay. Carry on. <laughs> yeah. Taking forever. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Philip's Monuments is apparently very expensive. I thought it was the moth I grabbed. No, the moth is only like three summons. Why is this book so expensive? Where do we get from reading it? I wonder. Indiana, you're reading this book when you get there. Read the book. It's not a quick read. It is really not a quick read, okay. We're just gonna sit here and wait. <laughs> so this is the Queen Hedgeput's te uh, temple? Temple is it called? I don't know. Is it called the temple? Yes. The temple of Queen Hedgeput. Hedgeput. It's not one of those weird house 
tombs, house exploration places. It's very big, look at it, ginormous. It's a 64 by 64 lot, I'm pretty sure. And you start. The temple itself is this. <laughs> this. This is the temple. Obviously, it goes underground, but like this is all the temple is. <laughs> you don't get to do anything up here. This is all just for fancy stuff. All fancy work. Did you read it? Did you finish reading it, Indiana? Are you that genius? Are you that good? Indiana! Oh, okay, you read it! Congrats! I'm gonna look for some mummy might. Mummy might at the moment. Quickly. It's my me. You know, I think our only hope is going to be market. Because I know they sell it there. So what, now you're done reading that book, we can sell it. Uh, I don't think you got any knowledge at all from it, so that's great. But he did say, if people knew that these books are in there, that we would be making lots of money. And you know what? Yeah. Let's go buy some relics. Then I think she might have some money, like money manium, with her. Do you, do you have any on you? Do you have any? No. Mummy, mummy, mummy. No, no, I don't need free. Okay, so it's going to cost me two house. <laughs> uh, right, that's a problem. Uh, read this so we can sell it. <laughs> Basically, we're trying to make money without being able to go to tombs, which is a bit of a problem. And that's for a kleptomaniac. Indiana, would you like to quickly go and <laughs> gain the kleptomaniac trait, please? please. Or you can read this, you can get your loot. That's the best fact of Come on, this is a small of the two books. Box. Book. You didn't finish. Good time, Indiana. Yes, toilet. Read book. Read it up. I was too tired. You have to tell this, yes. Okay, sleep. Basically, we're not going to do anything productive today, and it's going to be a very boring episode. And very sorry about that. But this this is what you have to do in between a world adventuring. If you sit around for ages. Has any spawned? Because I really don't want to have to buy them. No, but I, I know it does really. Oh no, I didn't need to cancel that. You can read from in there. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you. Get out. Get out. Indiana. Is it the tent, Indiana? Mm -hmm. Another book. Another book. Yeah. Right, you're going fishing. <laughs> Sorry, but that's what you're doing now. Give it the shipwreck. We're gonna go fishing, and that's how we're gonna get money. Now, I'll see you guys. But maybe we have like three thousand a moment so we can afford to buy them a main. Okay, Indiana has been fishing like all night, all day sort of thing. It's been at this one point for ages and it's about time he just sold everything he got. I can stop fishing with these now. Got so much money from these fish, I hope it's gonna be enough though. I don't know, I didn't memorize exactly how much it was, I just know it was more than what we had, so hopefully this is enough. Indiana! Ah, get back to the market. <laughs> I'm gonna have one last look for money in them. It's not being sold. That's why it's so expensive, because it's so hard to find. Oh, come on, Indiana. Just get these two pieces. They're golden. I actually want to look out for those piles of rubble that are around, because they can give you relics. And I think a lot of them as well. I've been seeing them, I just haven't been stopping to get them. Which is a bit of a dumb thing. Oh no. Oh no. No. Why? Okay, you don't have any in stock right now. That's just perfect. That is just the best thing I've ever heard. And yeah, I go to sleep. What is your sleep like? I think you only just woke up. Okay. Ah, I guess we wait for the stock to, stock to change. Damn it, I'm so annoyed. 
Change that. This is a change. Change that. No. It's not been different yet. Nope. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> the different now is a different day. <laughs> no. Booey. Come on. This <laughs> bot's gonna be useless. Change the health. Please. Not what I want at all in the slightest. We've got one. One. A one. Something okay, useful. That. You sure not want to spawn for me? Please. Let's go see if these plants are burning. You're harvestable? Yes, we get we can go harvest these. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy. <laughs> come on, can one just spawn? I I'd really like it if one would just spawn. Yes, get over here. Get there now, get there now. I don't know why these patches spawn too, because I can't have pets here and that's Dog the only ones that can use that, so that's the thing. Come get this now, Indiana. Indiana! Get the mummy. Get the mummy stone. Mummy stone. Mummy stone. Yeah. Get running the floor. Go deliver them. Jesus. That was not worth all the weight. <laughs> Maybe a good reward. Give me your house. In return. HQ infiltration. I've arranged for the Mummium to be deposited in a chest in the local Morkop headquarters. There shouldn't be anyone around to bother you. Problem is, the security system will most likely be online. This could get hairy. Take this package of Mummium to de deposit it and watch your back. Okay. Well. That will be saved for next episode, where things will actually get interesting, and we won't just be panicking to get things that aren't even worth getting. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye